Hey guys, uh, this is my first tutorial at all. Um, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a very simple home tour rig in Unreal 5.5. Um, well, English is not my main language, uh, so some mistakes could be happen. <laughs> uh, so let's go. First, to make a control rig, you, make, you, make, you need to make a, an asset of a control rig. So we can just type here control gig and just select in control gig and create a control gig. I mean, rename this as a CR wood plane. And that's it. Let's open it. And here, we, the first thing that we need to do is import the hierarchy of our model <laughs> so there you are there you uh, that's our model and now we have to make the controls for the model to control the model <laughs> uh, as I say it's a it's a very simple rig with uh, I don't know like one one two three four four controllers so it's <laughs> Literally, zero brief. Okay, so it is four controllers. Let's make this. These four controllers. Uh, I will make uh, in a simple way. Like I will select everything and click with the right button and new and control new control. That's it. <laughs> all all controls are made, but I will delete this one and this one. But I will delete this one and this one because we it's useless. Okay, uh, well, the controllers are so big then that we can even see the model here, in the right? Um, well, let me unscale. Scale. Uh, let me select here in details. If you don't see this, you can. You can enable here. Uh, so details we all right. I remember can remember is dot five. Uh, I believe it's dot five. And um, now let me just change something like the blades. I will choose the arrow two fin. Uh, the wheels. I will choose the. Let me remember circle. Uh, we can use the circle power. We can use the sphere pin as well. Uh, the body. We choose the the arrow. No, no the hexagon. And for the basic, that would be our root. Uh, we choose star. Well, uh, now we have a different shape for our controllers. Manipulate everything. Well, so let's make some adjustments. Like for the blades control, let me just scale everything. You can click in the in the locker to make everything proportional. Select again, I mean, uh, control Z. Um, let me check the lock again. Make more or less the size of this. Okay. Um, and compile. Let me change the color. Um, but yellow. That's fine for now. It's good for now. Um, let me see. The body control, I will just change the color as well. But green. Um, the root controller of the basic plane bounce control, I will make a little bit larger. Okay, 
Let's just switch the Z position. Be more parallel to wheels. Mine and two their wheels. I'm happy with that. I will let the color in red as well. Let me see. Now let me adjust this wheels control. Unfortunately, the wheels control we can just we can just have one. Uh, but uh, good scenario in a good situation, uh, we we should have a control here and an old, another control here. Not the case right now. So, what else is. What should I say? Okay. Uh, what is this? Scale 1.1. 1 .1. Mm -hmm. 1 .1. Uh, that's okay. Uh, and now we need to make these controls function. Because right now the controls don't make anything unless just to transform itself. Like, see, don't change anything. <laughs> so let's adapt this control to our bond as the model. Uh, but first, we will create a function to help us to make this. Uh, to make a function, you can see my blue, my blue, my blueprint tab here, or you can, if you don't see this tab, you can go in Windows. And my blueprint, like I don't see this tab. And now I see it's magic, but just a computer. Anyways, let's create this function and let's rename like a FK just for FK. And okay, now we will create some more some three inputs here. Uh, let me create. Let me create just one. As you here we got e element Greek. No, 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 Greek element. I'm sorry. D. That's the one. And we need to make this in. A, we make to transform the, this input in our array. So just click here, in single, and array. Let's rename like FK. Mm. Control and another one. Let's create another one and rename to Fonts. And now we make the nodes get so set just for array because we make array. Let's plug it here. And transforms. Ah, let's get transforms array as well. So we will get the transforms from control, plugging it in and bounce, and voila. Simple like that. Just need something here. Okay. Um, uh, let's go back for to our forward solver and um, let's bring our function here. Plug here. Okay. Let's select all all controls in rig. All right, in rig. This name I I can't remember. I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay, but is there? Is there? Let's select everything and move to the panel and get controls. Oh, sorry. And create it in array. And here, here we play in controls and we will select the, uh, the, the bonds right now. Just the bonds, not just the bonds that we make the control here. And create an array. Let's check if the Index numbers are identical, like basic, basic, body, body, wheels, wheels, blade, blade. 
this way. Um, and I just want to, ah, okay, just, just need to compile. And let's see if it's working. Oh, it's working. And that's it. It's the end of the tutorial. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, so now we can control or model with some job simple. I guess it's a simple control. Bar here, we can just change the wheels and just spin it up. And with the blades, just it's like this. So what it can have, what, it, what we can do to improve this simple, very simple control rig, we can make some thresholds, like threshold movements, threshold transformation, threshold, we can limit everything, anyways. So let's limit some things, like the blades. And the blade, we just want the blade to rotate in Z, I think so. Z in local. <laughs> and how we can just block the other kinds of movements. Uh, just right here. In me and max. In me, you you can you can make the limit for the value that you want, like that you want, uh, any movement in any transformation, in any location, either in rotation in X or in able, and in this one in feet. Scale have to be the standard. In max, I will do the same. And that's it. Now I can make I can make uh, X rotation even in the beach. I can even move and I can even scale. So let's do this just for the wheels right now. Uh, for the wheels, I just want then. I just want it to rotate in X. So let's go. Uh, let me check this to make the zero value. The value, the value. And now I can just rotate in X. Okay. So our very, 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 very simple rig. It's already done. <laughs> it's complete. Um, well, and how we can use this? It's very simple. Let me show you. I have this scene here. I made for for the review <laughs> to this tutorial. So let me maintain this name in, in here. Or zero, zero 02 because I have another one that I have to make to make the tutorial first <laughs> and the video presentation. Uh, so let me bring this model here. You'll be fine in this sequence. Uh, let me do the transformation here. It's a little bit okay. Now it is here. And how we can use our control rig? Uh, simple, just clicking track in this sign here, plus sign. And go in control rig and choose this one as we made. And voila! There you are, our control rig. Animate model in the 
simple like this. I mean, just use it. And just make here this one. And then blades rotation. Blades rotation, it's only in here. So I can just make here one. And I don't know, I mean, rotate it like a 10,000. That's easiest here, just for linear. You don't have easy part. You don't have the easy movements, and let's see. Voila. That's it. It is the end of the tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy. Any questions? And leave in the comment section. And 